Okay, so um, if you've read the title or you've just clicked off on this from Steam, this is um, my massive collection of loads of stuff from MSS Blue or stuff that are very similar to the things that were used in MSS Blue. So um, there's a link in the description if you want to go for this. So yeah, I'm ba anyway, I'm just going to be basically clicking on every single one of these and talking about them and some moments where they were in the actual movies. So yeah, anyway. So you've got this basic little coat, um, Spy wears this all the time, this blue version of it. You see he's got a hat as well. Um, here's the hat for it. They both come separately even though they're both there in the picture which is a bit weird. You've got the enhanced pyro and engineer. So just some better looking engineer and pyro. This one's got no goggles so you can put the goggles on and off because the normal character you can't do that and then you've got this pyro pack which has this mask which uh, is just a mask for pyro and that's like the villain guy from MSW and then you've got the 1911 redux this is just the uh, pistol demo man users I think very cool pistol honestly yep right, right, that's him holding it there's also a shotgun for this, so if you're watching this a little later on, there might be a shotgun in there. I'm still trying to find it. This is a shotgun that someone uses. Don't know if it's in there. Anyway, you've got these um, aspect ratio mask overlays, which they actually use extra, like a lot. They use this one quite a lot. Uh, you might not be able to notice it, but it's quite small. But they do add it, and it just makes their, their thing look way better. So that's extremely recommended. Even though it doesn't seem like that much, it's very important. I guess you've got something pretty basic, just some bullet holes, whatnot. So, um, yeah. Basically, every movie uses that. Cigarette pack, this is a very small thing that we used. Um, literally just a pack of cigarettes. But it was used once while they were in an elevator. Maybe the model view. Next, you've got this crowbar. Uh, this is just a small little crowbar that was used in. And this is blue farm kind of looking pack. Custom wood decal. Uh, these are pretty basic. Basically, everyone uses these things. Exactly this as well. It just loads of blood stains. You can also put black blood in bullet hole things. Because in Emesis Blue, they use multiple different blood um, effects and multiple different bullet holes. So, this is just one of them. Uh, you've also got these custom wood plank things that can make things. This wasn't 100% used, but it could. It wasn't. This wasn't exactly what was used, but it can. It is similar to something like that. And you've also got this grenade. Well, I think a lot of us in this grenade. It can like customly. It can actually. You can actually pull the pit. Um, Ring and it actually opens and stuff, so it's just a bad way when they give a grenade in the game. Expanded give to characters, literally just the characters with uh, not many limbs. So, um, yeah, you've got. You know, you've got quite a lot. Okay. And then next up, we've got some fire particles. Pretty basic, just fire particles. Next we've got these frontline supply things. There's a video for this, we're not going to watch the whole thing. But it's basically just some supplies from World War 1, 2 kind of stuff. It's actually in one of the parts, very small. The goggleless engineer. This is literally just an engineer that gets beat to death. And his goggles fall off at one point. HD bullets. Literally just if you want a close up view of bullets. This I only see like once or twice. Well, I've seen it a couple of times, but the only times where it's mainly focused on the bullet is probably when a soldier gets shot in the chest, but he, you can see he's wearing, like, bulletproof vest, and you can see the sniper bullet just sat there. But they were used, so I'm putting them in there. You've got the uh, black hearse that was also used, pretty basic. Uh, you got the high poly team beer, so it's just a, literally just a beer and stuff. Um, there's shards for this that come customly with the game, so you can use those, there's no actual 
pack some shard. Oh, and then you've got these, uh, the, 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 the brothers that, 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 that don't like each other. Um, yeah, so some basic models of the brothers that don't like each other. The um, ones used in Emesis Blue are a lot more detailed than this, but these are just a base character in this close as I can get to it. Next we've got the lens pack, which is used, um, I'm pretty sure it's used at one point, like you've got a scope, they use that at one point, but I've got a, uh, another scope that looks mo a way more similar and looks a lot better than this one. Like the I swear the record might be, I don't know about the record. But anyway, the one that is used, I think, is just one of these blood ones when um, the doctor's smashing his head on a piano or something. It's just a blood on the screen. Uh, light limit patch is not necessarily part of it, but it's where you change your light limit, and it was probably it was most likely used in, in according to my calculations. Anyway, next you got the maskless spy, which is where spy mask gets taken off and it's just him without a mask so yeah pretty basic max pain free bullet wounds so this is one of the other bullet wounds these are used for like each wound is used for different type of things so one of the bullet wounds i'm going to show you are used for like pretty far away wounds that are just for like clothing not actually skin this is for like far away ones that are it can be a little bit close up, but not too close up. Far away, close up ish bullet wounds for a character on the actual skin where they're actually bleeding. And then you've also got these, uh, the other ones that I showed you at the start, which were these, which are actually for close up. So, yeah, so I recommend doing all that. Uh, next, you've got the Meet the Medic uh, outfit. He, medic's wearing this at the start of the game. Uh, yeah, it's just a Meet the Medic outfit. Paintable bullet wounds. This is another one of the bullet wounds. This is mainly for just like clothing. So that's why I've got this. So I've got three different types of bullet wounds. You know. And then you've also got a uh, slash wounds, which are pretty helpful. They not necessarily for close up. They can be close up ish if you're using like the uh, red team black one right here. So you've got different versions, you've just got the default and then you've got the more bloody one. A little zombie version of this one. The best looking one's probably the black, so I recommend using that one. Uh, so yeah, if you just use this one, it, it's gonna it's gonna look a lot better uh, uh, for close up. But if it's like far away ish, it's not as big as a wound to it, like one of these. Um, yep. Yeah, next we got the pooling blood animated prop. Literally just some blood that can come out of the character. It wasn't necessarily used 100%, but something similar was kind of used. We got also some heavy um, rain, which I think might be the exact one they used, like the exact exact one. Um, but yeah, yeah, I think this is the exact one they actually used. But they are a lot, so I have got another one. I've also got realistic fog. This is very, very good. So this is without, and this is with. It, it, it can make a lot of things, but it, it was used 100%. Maybe not like that one, but it, this one's very similar. Realistic muzzle, muzzle flash. I think it was 100% used. You've got a video for it if you want to watch that. But yeah, I think this was 100% used. It looks pretty cool as well. Yeah, we'll see kind of one. And then there's realistic rain effects, which is the second one that looks quite similar. But I think the other one's more similar. I just put this one on for if you want a lighter rain. The other one's for like lightning and a lot stronger. So that's why I still kept that on. Reference image, reference image widget. So this wasn't. We have absolutely no idea if this was used because this would be something you use while making it. And you wouldn't see the final thing, but this um, basically just gives you a little reference image for how you want to pose a character. So you can use that, and it was most likely used because Daniel must be really, 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 really good at animating for that having at least one reference image. Come on. Next you got scene. Next you got scene builds void. Now this would not 100% if it used it was used either. 
but it's basically like Hughes in Hammer Editor, but instead it's in SFM and it's a lot more easy to get your head around. Basically you just get loads of wall floor assets that are also in here, and you just go in this big black void and you can make any kind of map you want, so you'd have to keep searching for a map you like or go into Hammer Editor and edit it. Hammer Editor is probably um, a better idea to use, but it's, it's a bit confusing in my opinion, like, I, I don't really like it that much, but I am trying to learn it because I ain't get, we're not gonna be, none of us are going to be able to make a second Emesis Blue. Well, not exactly the same, but one as good as that without Hammer Editor. So yeah. Anyway, we've got the SFM telephone. This, 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 this is just a very minor thing. It was that one exactly? It was a very minor thing, but it was used, and it, it's pretty cool. Prop anyway. Simple flask. This you don't see very much, but it was used. This um thing is amazing because it actually saves soldier in the film, so that's why I like it. Here's the actual um the most similar rifle zoom overlay that the looks just like the one in Emesis Blue and probably looks better because it's more zoom it's got like, more of an actual zoom around the ends. So I recommend this one if you really like someone aiming then the sniper. This is the board bath. Mercenaries, so basically just all the characters just covered in blood. Um, now, I am still looking for one where maybe um, you could put blood on just specific spots of the character, but I haven't 100% looked properly yet, so if I do see one like that, then I'll add it. This uh, collection will probably be updated a lot. Okay, so we've got Team Fortress 2 photos. This is very good because this was used uh, when to see pictures of Scout asleep after he said like he saw someone outside his window, him walking back his house, whatnot. But uh, I've never actually tried this one out yet so I'm not sure how this works, but this one looks very similar there's no other one that's as similar as this. So I think you can put your own pictures on but I have no idea. We've got tear blood drop so I'm not 100% if this was 100% used, but um, it can add detail, so you've got just blood drops, you got some crying, you know. I don't know. TF2 Enhanced Soldier, this was 100% used because you've got the normal and then that's casual, you can actually see that in the film. You've got other styles of him, like new things, like bodies, so you've got suit, another suit, you know, you've got quite a lot. Just another outfit for it. Next we have the zombie versions of the characters. So these are just all the zombie characters that were used. Um, when Demo Man and um, Soldier saw the zombies and also when Scout was a massive were looking zombie thing. The Scout models and the ones that you don't normally see properly are different to this. But I'm um, still looking for that one so I'll see if I can find any similar. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. Next, uh, this is another one that was a 100% used, I, mean, th I think it's used, not with, me, I think it was used, but it's basically just little particles, particles, not particles, bits, what would I call them, they are particles, but they're not, basically just parts of walls, so you can make like a massive explosion and a wall falls down, this happens at one point to the doctor, and then something that goes with that, with that is the TF2 wall building thing. Um, it's basically just just some walls, kind of thing. Yeah. Anyway, next we've got the TF2 gun attachments. These ones are 100% used, but and then you got Damu next. Well, it's the moon, but it's a Damu on there. It's literally just the moon. It's literally just the moon sitting in the cup. <coughs> anyway, um, next we got something else, which I don't know if it was 100% used. This one looks a little bit crappy, so I don't think this was the exact one, but like the trenches. I could look for another one, but I'm not 100% sure. It looks a bit short. So I might, I might just remove that after this video, because I'm not 100% sure if it, it, it was the closest one I saw. But if it's not that, then I'll keep, I'll keep looking. Anyway, next we've got these just wall floor materials for these things that you can spawn in. You've also got like stuff like that, the wall board. Oh, 
Hello, yeah. Anyway, yeah, so you've got stuff like that. You know, that's pretty important. Because you need that for uh, making the actual custom maps if you want. You've got a lighter, pretty basic lighter. You've got the Modern Warfare, the Modern Warfare 2019 Blood Impact Effect. Literally just some Blood Impact Effects for characters. Pretty basic. Improved cigarette smoke, so it's basically just the smoke of a cigarette, but it's a lot better than usual. What is with that character? What bullet holes it that's someone else's pack, you can't be using that. Oh uh, you got TF2 enhanced spy. Enhanced it I can't say I think I'm saying that right, I can't tell. Um, yeah, so you basically just got loads of different skins for Spy and some of these cigarettes as well. Just a better version of Spy, really. You need to that for basically every character. It's just I try to only import the versions of the characters they actually are. One of the things I'm spending a lot of time trying to find, but I haven't really percent found it yet. I don't know what I should type, but when you see some of the characters, you can see they have like wrinkles in them. Like, almost like they're tired. I'm still trying to find that, but I don't know if it's in the workshop, but yeah. Anyway, I'm just got some sh shotgun shells, like, you know. We all need some shotgun shells. Now you've know, got the open fortress nurse mercenary. This is literally just um, near the end. There's some mercenaries that come out of like, a vehicle and start spraying the hell out of the dock. Doctor. Doc. Doc. I don't know. Should I say dock or doctor? Anyway, yeah, they use the blue version and they're just spraying the hell out of them, so yeah. Very basic. And you've got the movie tube slash particles. Which is literally just some slash particles. These we use literally I think once when um someone gets shot in the chest and he just falls back and water slappers, I guess. So yeah, that's basically the whole pack. After you watch this there's probably gonna be a lot more stuff because right after this video I'm probably gonna have like five things that I think I might have missed if I do find them. So yeah, but it will be updated quite often, probably, depending on how much stuff I've missed, or if I've maybe included everything, I can't really update it. Or maybe someone makes a new thing that's similar to it and I can import that. So yeah, this will probably just be updated at very random times. So yeah, I hope you um, liked this, and just a quick reminder, a link in the description to the actual thing on Steam. And if, um, I'm pretty sure when you do it, it just brings you to a Google link. If you're not signed in to Steam and Google, just search Emesis Blue items slash scripts. That should show up. So, um, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Well, what if you just watch from Steam and never, you, you never watch any of my videos ever again?